Hello, my name is Anna Torbonete and welcome back to the Photoshop Icebreakers. Today I will show you key coloring elements in Photoshop to create nostalgic visuals. We will be using curves, selective color, levels adjustment layers, as well as texture and I'll show you how to create the best old school film grain. I believe those coloring elements come from old film stocks and how they used to lose their color over time and leave this magenta hue most prominent in the images and film. We're gonna try to replicate but also incorporating green, working with shadows and highlights and everything. I think one of the most important things is to find a lot of inspiration. You can gather a Pinterest board or anywhere else across Instagram or Google to find images that would have those colors. And maybe a good thing is to bring one image into your Photoshop file as a reference to color. And that's what I'm gonna do. This image has this pink colors, is a little bit faded, has this greenish kind of shadow. We always keep the inspiration at the very top so it wouldn't be affected by adjustment layers and everything. And then we can start with curves. I usually use all red, green, blue channels as well as RGB. I'll start with the red. I create two points, one for highlights and one for shadows. And you can see how all the highlights become more red. So I bring it a little bit up and bring bring shadows a little bit down, creating this kind of an S-curve. Then I move to the green one and do the opposite. I make the invert S-curve, putting more green into the shadows. You can see how far you can go, but we just need a little bit. As well as I will fade the blacks into green, so you can see how it changes. Blacks become very green, but I just need a tiny bit. I adjust this accordingly, but I can always come back to it. And I go to the blues. Blues I I do to my liking. I usually put three points, but you always have to remember you can't copy it and you have to adjust it to your own image because every image has different colors initially, so the curves will work differently. It's just a general idea that shadows, you can make them a little bit greenish and highlights, you make it a little bit magenta. And it's important to fade the image as well, which we'll do by going back to the RGB curve to do that. So you do a little bit and I'll tone down the highlights, the very top, maybe up a little bit of shadow. Shadows. Move this, which makes the contrast increase. I think this is good for now. I can always come back to it and adjust it as I need to. The next thing is we're gonna move to selective color. We'll start with reds. The idea is that it is selects the, the specific color, which is red, yellow, green, and all of those, as well as whites, highlights, neutrals, mutons, and black shadows. In those reds, so wherever you see a red here, for example, the nails, as well as a skin tone a little bit and lips, you can add cyan, magenta, yellow or black to the image or take it out. You can see it gets saturated or desaturated. I want a little bit of pink, so I'll add magenta to the reds and I'll take out yellows, which gives bluish tone. So it kind of becomes purple. It's like mixing colors in real life. Yellow is on the hair, so I might increase. I don't want her to be very, very purple, so I'll try to avoid that. I'm gonna go back to red and then I'll take out a little bit of black. You can see she becomes faded and that fade is that the very essence of nostalgic tones. Going to the neutrals, I can add some color because neutrals are mid-tones and basically usually affects everything. I think it's a little bit too bright, so I'm just gonna go back to our curves and RGB curve and I'll decrease the highlights, which is the very, very top. You can see what happens, it becomes black. And then this point I also tone down and I'll tone down this. Going to the blue, I will also add some yellow in highlights by moving this very top curve to the bottom. You can see how this works as well as this point. I still want some pink tones. And go back to green, just adjust a slight bit of his shadows. Sometimes I go to check it if I want to change it. I can just move it a little bit and decide that I want to go back. The next thing what we're gonna do is add grain. You start by creating a solid color of RGB. One to five, one to five, one to five. I make it a smart object so you can add effects on it. And I change the blending mode to soft light. Now you go to the filter and add noise. Gaussian monochromatic, 
12 is usually all right. If you're gonna have a smaller image, you will have to have less noise because it's gonna be more intense. This noise is not really a film noise. It's very digital. So what we're gonna do is go to blur and Gaussian blur and we will blur it so it's not as perfect you can see in preview you still have that noise but it's blurry and that is the film green you can turn off the inspiration for now the last thing that we're gonna do is add texture you can find textures anywhere around internet i changed the blending mode to screen you could leave it like that but it's always better to adjust the initial texture and you can do that by going again to the adjustment layers and choosing levels and make it a clipping mask so it adjusts only the texture. Viv levels I usually like to bring this left slider just blacks to the beginning of the histogram and moving the this slider to the left and in the middle just a little bit to the left next to the blacks and then I can move the blacks because it usually moves with the, the middle so I'll adjust it a little bit so I could get the result that I want and this one creates the faded look and if I want to get rid of those white things you see white goes to black and it disappears so I can adjust its intensity by just sliding this to the left just trying to find the perfect balance last thing because I added the texture it faded the image but it faded a little bit too much so I'll just add levels just above the curves and selective color and make it a little bit more contrasty doing similarly that I did to the texture levels greasing the highlights a little bit and that is it you have a nostalgic visual thank you so much for tuning in I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful let me know how it went for you and bye